Okay, so what I'm going to show you today is how to use a couple tools in Inventor. We're going to learn how to use the rectangular pattern tool and the mirror tool. I have a Lego block here that I've started, and that's a good example to show you how to use the pattern tool, okay, the rectangular pattern tool. So in order to use the rectangular pattern tool, I have to have a solid available that I want to copy. So if you know what a Lego block looks like, you can see that I've got the base of the Lego block, and I've got this standing cylinder, and the standing cylinder is what I want to copy. So to use the rectangular pattern tool, I'm going to go over on the menu bar to where I get to the pattern tools itself. And I'm going to click on this top box here. This is the rectangular pattern. Okay, when I, when I get to that point, um, features, it's going to ask me which feature I want to pattern. So that's where I find it in my, uh, my model tree. I basically find the extrusion that I want to pattern, and I select it. Now um, I need to select the directions. Now since it's a rectangular uh, pattern, I've got to supply two directions. So for direction one, I hit my arrow, and what I'm going to use, I can either use edges on the part, or if I wanted to, I could use um, axes in my origin folder. So I'm going to go ahead and do two different ones that we can see. I'm going to use this as my direction one, okay? And for my direction two, I'm going to go ahead and choose my um, x-axis. And you can see that it's starting to give me what I want. It's giving me a preview of what I want. It thinks that I want a two by two copy, and it thinks I want to do one inch by one inch. Okay. Now, if for some reason I might end up having um, something that looks like this, um, we can zoom out and we can see that that's basically putting the copy on the wrong side. All I have to do is I have to flip this, or I have to touch this little flip arrow, and it'll flip it to the side that I want. And I can do the same thing with the other direction, too. Now that I have the directions specified and the solid selected that I want to copy, I can go ahead and put in, uh, change the numbers and the dimensions that I want. So I'm going to go ahead... Direction one, I'm going to change that to four. And if you zoom out, you'll see that I'm going to put four in there. And then two, I'm going to leave that alone. But my dimensions need to be updated. So I'm going to go ahead and modify those. That way, it looks a little bit better. I'm going to change this one dimension. I'm going to change that to 0.35. And your dimensions hopefully are already determined, but you can actually play around with the dimensions to get what you need if you're just kind of using, um, uh, if you're just approximating. And for me, my dimension's already defined. So we're gonna type in 0 0.5. So I can rotate my part around to get a preview and see that's exactly what I want. So once I say okay, it creates that pattern and you can see that that is in my tree. So that's how I use the rectangular pattern tool. Now for the mirror example, let's say I have this part here, and I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to put uh, I'm going to put another hole in here. Let's see here. Uh, let's put another hole in here, and I'm going to stick a point in here. That way I can generate a hole pretty easily. And I'm not going to worry about location for right now because we're just using this to practice. I'm going to change the size of my hole. And that's what I want. For my mirror tool, again, I'm going to go up to this pattern area, and I'm going to click on the mirror tool itself, Features. It's asking me which features do I want to pattern. Now, if I wanted to, I could just pick this extrusion, Okay, but, and maybe I don't want to mirror the hole as well, so I can just leave that alone, or I can pick the hole if I want to. The bottom line is, is that everything that I need to mirror, I have to select in the model tree. Now it's asking for a mirror plane, so I can go ahead and pick my uh, mirror plane. If I wanted to, I could pick a plane on the part, 
or I could also pick a plane um, from my um, origin folder. I'm going to go ahead and pick a plane from my part, and you can see that it gives me a preview. Or if I wanted to choose a different plane, I could do that. Okay, or if I wanted to choose a different plane, I could choose the plane on the back. I can choose whatever plane that I want, and it'll give me what I'm looking for. Okay, I'm going to go back to my original selection here. Zoom out a little bit so you can see, and then I'm going to say OK, and it creates my part as one solid. It's that easy.